Hello everyone, welcome to Sketch of V-Ray. Today I'm going to show you how to create finite dome and shadow sketcher in v 6 SketchUp. Let's do it. First, I'm going to hide the lawn. Add another scene. Hide the trees. Update it. Hide it, hide it. Okay. Go to V-Ray Asset Editor. Enable the background. Make it to zero. Disable sunlight. Decrease the height to 450. Start interactive rendering. Nothing. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a dome light. It's here. I'm gonna place it here. Start interactive again. This is the default HD array. Now I'm gonna load the HD array file. No load it. the intensity to 10 maybe 15 okay now it looks like a floating house in the space and the scale is not correct so now let's turn on finite dome and by doing that we save and the dome is too small now I'm gonna increase the radius to Maybe two hundred. Maybe one thousand. Two thousand. Save it because sometimes it crashed. Maybe uh, two thousand and five hundred. Okay. Project height maybe go to the scene stop the interactive render increase the height to ten eighty. 
start just the rendering again. Turn it up to 450. Lock the camera orientation. Close it. Rotate it. Five, maybe another two. Okay, increase the intensity to seventy five. Place infinite plane. Take it down twenty millimeters. This one will work as shadows catcher. Now let's make Another material wrapper and another material generic. Okay, now now we select the infinite plane wrapper. Apply to selection. Base material, choose generic, alpha contribution to black alpha minus one, and it will mark shadows. You see a little shadows here, but it's difficult to see. Now, about the rendering. I'm gonna add a furniture 
there to make it easier to see the shadows. Now place it here. down 20 millimeters now go back to the scene just the height to 10 80 start rendering Now, as you can see, we have a shadows here, and a nice grass on the lawn here. I go to tone light. This option here. Ground plan. If you go to one, the dome lie will be square. Zero. It's like a hemisphere. Go back to our scene. See, the tree is still. I set about to zero. Okay. I go to wrap per material. Just a unchecked shadows here. It back. Okay, that's how we create finite dome and shadows catcher. So thank you for joining me in this video tutorial. Please subscribe to see more videos and keep this channel alive. See you again next time. Bye-bye.